How would you solve this? I'm so confused. Don't worry, I can help you. Here we have x squared minus 6x minus 27 divided by x minus 9. And for this question, the direction says we are going to do polynomial long division. And before I show you that, I would like to review the regular long division with you. Let's say we have 387 and we want to divide this by 9. So how do we do it? Well, long division, the regular version, right? Draw this, put the first thing inside, and then the second thing on the outside, and just proceed. Does 9 go into 3? No. So you look at 9 and 38. 9 goes into 38 how many times? 4 times, because 4 times 9 can give us 36. And then we subtract. 38 minus 36, we have 2. And then we bring down the 7. And then we ask ourselves, how many times does 9 go into 27? The answer is 3. 3 times 9 is 27. And subtract, and we end up with remainder 0. So the answer for this is 43. So it's the same thing, but right now we are going to do the algebra version. So I am going to draw that long diffusion symbol. The first thing goes inside, x squared minus 6x minus 27. And the second thing goes on the outside, x minus 9. Now for the polynomial version, this is trickier though. What you want to do is, you want to compare the first thing of the outside and the first thing of the inside. So just look at x and x squared. And you ask yourself, how many times does x go into x squared? And the answer for that is x, because x times x is x squared. I know it sounds kind of weird, but let me just write it down and you'll see it. I said the answer is x, right? You want to line up with the x term, so we want to put the x here. Okay? And notice it has two terms, right? x minus 9. Once you put on the x, you take the x, multiply with this x, which is x squared. Write that down here. Line up. And then x times negative 9, you also do that, and you get negative 9x. You line up with the x term. Okay, so just like that. Then, just like the regular version, when we do the long division, we subtract, so put down a subtraction and the parentheses. Here, the first term shall always cancel out. If they don't completely cancel out, that means you chose the wrong thing. x squared minus x squared is in fact zero, so we are, we are good, right? But remember, here we have negative 6x minus minus 9x. So minus, if you multiply that inside, this actually gives you plus 9x, right? Negative times negative gives us a positive, so positive 9x. So what's negative 6x plus 9x? The answer for that is 3, positive 3. And then we also have that x. Negative 6 plus 9 is 3, and then we bring down the x term. Okay? And then, just like what we did earlier, you bring down what's left. Here we have the minus 27, so write that down. And then again, you compare the first thing of the outside and the first thing of the inside. x and 3x, what do we need? The answer is 3, and it's a positive 3, so we need to have plus 3. And once you put this down, you take whatever this is, multiply with the first thing. 3 times x is 3x, so write that down. And then 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. And again, we subtract. Put subtraction and then parentheses. Now, 3x minus 3x is 0. Good. And then this is negative 27 minus negative 27. So if we distribute this to that, it's going to be a plus 27. So this and that, hey, it gives you 0. Negative 27 plus 27 is 0. And it's just like this. 
when we don't have when we don't have any remainder, the remainder here is zero, and we are done for sure. So the answer for this is just whatever that is, which is x plus three, hmm? just like that. Okay. Oh, maybe I should also make it clear that I should also have shown you the distribute property negative x squared so that's negative x squared x squared minus x squared is zero and then distribute this and that is negative 3x 3x and 3x they can also all to be zero all right let me show you another example this one right here so let's go ahead draw the long division symbol the first thing goes inside and the second thing goes on the outside now we compare the first thing right here and the first thing right here. X and x squared, we need x and line it up here. So x times x gives us x squared. And then x times 5 is positive 5x. Yeah. So that's the first step. And then remember we subtract and put parentheses around this. Okay. X squared minus x squared is 0. Good. And for the next one, negative 3x minus 5x. So remember, we will have to distribute the negatives, and that will give us a minus 5x. So we are looking at this and that. Negative 3x minus 5x gives us negative 8x. Okay. And then we bring down whatever we have right here. And then we look at x and negative 8x. So what do we need? We need the eight, negative 8, right? So let's write down minus 8. And we take minus 8 times x, which is negative 8x. And we take negative 8 times 5, which is minus 40. And then we subtract. Now, negative 8x minus negative x, they cancel. You can see that this and that, they match exactly, so it's out. And for this one, just do it carefully. Distribute the negative. Negative times negative becomes a positive. So we have to do negative 7 plus 40. Negative 7 plus 40 give us that's a positive 33. It's like 40 minus 7. So the remainder here is positive 33. So this is how we are going to write the answer now. We have the quotient which is x minus 8 and then the remainder here is a past this 33 so we are going to add 33 and then over this because this is you know we have this divided by that so this is like the denominator and the denominator stays the same right here which is x plus 5 so this is the format that you can present for that if you have a remainder besides zero.